Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Donna Crow. And Donna did not actually ask this question directly of me, but rather ask it on the Witch School page. But I thought that I would go ahead and answer it. And Donna's question is, does anyone have a body switch spell? And of course the first question that I would have is what exactly is meant by the term body switch? But since I don't really have an answer for that, I'm going to have to assume that we're talking about the Freaky Friday idea of a body switch, where one person's consciousness is put into another person's body and vice versa. And the answer to this question is no, nobody has that spell. It really is not something that can be done. Your body is an emanation of your soul, and you can't switch it that casually. Having said that, there are a few things we can add to this conversation. The first of which is that it is possible to establish a very strong psychic link with another person, strong enough in some cases to see through their eyes. It's not strictly speaking the same thing, but it might possibly be what Donna means. This, in my experience, is not something that can usually be kept up for any great length of time, but it is a link that can be established. Another thing we can add is that while you cannot really switch your consciousness into a body that is an emanation of a different soul, you can switch your point of consciousness from where it is now to a body that is also an emanation of your soul. Though this is a very high level working, and I really don't recommend it to someone who does not have a great deal of experience. Uh, although I will say that unconsciously, I don't think it's a particularly uncommon thing. The soul has many different versions of this current life all in existence, and your point of consciousness can travel between these. Normally you'll never be aware of it, but it can be done consciously. Also, your soul has many different incarnations, past, present, and future, and because for the spirit time really is non-existent, it is possible to see through the eyes of these different incarnations. So those are also possible ways of looking at an answer to this question, though none of them is really what I think was being asked about. And again, all of these are fairly high-level workings, but they are possible. And we talk about a lot of these in our third degree book, so I would recommend if you'd like to know more about this subject that you consult that. And in the meantime, I hope this answers your question, and until next time, may you blessed be. Today's vlog is brought to us by the word offering. Offering. An offering is a gift dedicated to a deity or spirit. Many different terms exist to qualify the type of offering meant. A votive offering, for example, given in fulfillment of a vow. The practice of making offerings is very ancient, and the offering must be understood to be symbolic in nature, an act of respect and honor that strengthens the bond between the deity or spirit and the offerer, rather than as giving sustenance to the spirit.